everybody. It is Sunday. I made uh, breakfast for the kids. I know with the eggs I said I wasn't going to be making it too often. I made it last week because I had extra eggs and then um, eggs were on sale at Ingles this week for like $3. So I got those and the kids asked for bacon and eggs since I did buy it last time I went to Sam's Club. So I took care of that and made that for them this morning. Um, I don't know how much more often we'll be having that just because of the price is skyrocketing. Um, I've thought about chickens, which I'm sure other people have, and I don't think where I live you can have them. Also, I don't have the time at this moment in time to really take care of chickens, so uh, I'm just going to keep paying for a lot of eggs, I guess. Um, last weekend, me and Chris cut some trees in the backyard, and I'll put a picture of it. I think Chris took a picture of like them cut up. I didn't video or take any pictures when we were doing it. It took pretty much all day. So, um, I wanted to video last week, didn't get to because that's pretty much all I did and then I was exhausted after that. Uh, I'd like to make some muffins today. I have like four cans of pumpkin. I was hoarding around like the fall because I had a really hard time finding pumpkin. Um, I don't know if there was a shortage or something then when I did find it I was like stocking up like a crazy person. So I'd like to make some muffins and my favorite pumpkin muffins are the ones from Dunkin Donuts. And I found a recipe I think that's pretty close on Pinterest. They look like it in the picture. I don't think they'll be as big because I have like cupcake pans, not the big muffin pans. But that's fine. We don't need giant muffins. Um, but I think me and the girls will do that today because they like to bake and I'll do that with them. Um, we have my sister's Lottie's birthday is Thursday the 26th and I got her one of these. Let me show you dropping everything hold on um one of these it's like a little birthday cake for the dog which i've never seen before but i was like oh so cute so i got her this and i also got her a toy but that's not easily at my like for me to grab right now i don't i have it somewhere else it's not in the kitchen but so she'll get that and then my sister's birthday is friday now, since her birthday's Friday, I won't be doing my grocery shopping on Friday like I usually do. I'm going to do it all Thursday so I don't have to go out and I can spend the day with her. Um, she wants a pizza and ice cream cake, so I am off the hook of making any birthday cake. She usually doesn't have me make a birthday cake, which is fine with me because I usually make everybody's birthday cake. So I'm not complaining. I like doing that for everyone, but it's nice when you don't have to because it's like, wow, good. Um, I have one of her presents I have to finish. And I'll show you guys when it, um, after her birthday, obviously. Um, I'm hoping to get it done today. But we'll see what the day allows. Uh, we did the market yesterday, which we did really good. Surprised for the time of year it is. And with, you know, things being so expensive, we did do pretty well. So, I have stuff I have to make for that. Um, I started doing glass roses and... The first one I put out, somebody bought, so I'll be making a bunch more, and hopefully they'll sell well as well. Um, so that's good. I've also um, been thinking about starting plants from seeds in the basement for the spring for gardening. Uh, I know I'm kind of all over the place just talking about all the thoughts that pop in my head. Um, I was thinking about doing that uh, because I feel like sometimes when you get the... I've had a hard time every year uh, with the plants I buy from the store. I always get the pre-planted. They're like, you know, in little bucket, like little containers. And they're probably like, you know, four inches tall already. And then you plant them in your yard. Um, every time I've had pepper plants like that, they usually don't do very well. Um, from everything I watched, pepper plants are supposed to be super easy to grow and take care of. And it's not for me. I've struggled with this for the past few years that I've been trying to grow them. So I was thinking maybe it's me buying them at the store, maybe it's the seeds I'm using, I don't know. So I'm going to try and start my own good seeds from like an actual place, not Walmart, this year and see like, you know, like a greenhouse place or somebody that sells seeds that like has farming and stuff and see if that works better. Um, and then if it doesn't, I'm just going to give up on peppers because peppers are expensive and we eat a lot of peppers. We like them. And I was trying to just save a little money. 
Um, you know, I'd like to start canning some of those things, but unfortunately, I, uh, I haven't been able to grow them very well, so we'll see. Hopefully this year. Um, also thinking about, like I said, starting them, getting like a grow light little table, put it in the basement, and go by whatever month it says for like where I live when you should start the indoor planting to get ready for the outdoor planting. I'm watching a couple videos. I know I kind of slowed down after getting a uh, Lottie because when Lottie was a puppy she was crazy and it was very difficult to try to manage a garden and take care of Lottie and train Lottie. Now that Lottie's a little older it'll be easier because it's not going to be like I have a infant child because um, she is a lot better than she used to be. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. We, one of the reasons me and Chris cut the trees was they were hanging over blocking the sun where I have the garden beds. There's still a couple that are but they are too tall and too dangerous for me and him to cut ourselves. And I looked at the price of people that come and cut the trees and that is not in the budget. So we're just gonna do what we can with what we got this year. And hopefully um, plants come out. You know, one day I'd like a homestead and if I don't know what I'm doing, that's not helpful. So I have to start, you know, this is like practice yard. See how that goes. But that's one of the things I've been thinking about. And I'm unsure, because we do have a market that runs the whole year this year, if I will be able to keep up with everything. Because um, if you're new here, um, or you haven't seen in other videos, that um, I do homeschool the kids. They do virtual school, but it's still very hands-on for me. <laughs> I still have to help them a lot and like teach them things. Um, so that's like pretty much my whole days. And then at night, after I do regular wife and mom stuff, like make dinner, make lunch for Chris the next day, do laundry and do all the chores around the house, I then go into my basement around, uh, you know, seven, eight o'clock at night and then go do glasswork until usually around 11 or 12 and then go to sleep and then, um, do it all again the next day. So logistically... I mean, now when we're not busy and I don't have a lot of stuff to make, there's weeks I don't go down there and do glass, which is nice. I get a break. But, you know, I'm trying to think about how that's going to work. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll take on as much as I want with the garden. We'll see how well it goes. Uh, that's one thing I worry about of pumpkins coming. I thought it was one of the kids walking and he walks very loud. Um, so, yeah, and also uh, me and Lottie, now that it's not bitter cold, I've been going on walks every night because she needs walks. She's like crazy. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, figure I'd just give you a little update. Talk about some of the things I've been thinking about. Um, yeah, but besides that, not too much else has been going on. I'm going to do muffins, I think. So, I'm probably going to get off here. Fold some laundry because it's like somebody's been coming in here. There's only five of us. And usually laundry... You know, it's not bad. I can wash one every night and I'm good and ahead of the time. I've got like three bins of wash all the time and I don't understand. I told Chris, I'm like, someone coming in here, putting their clothes in my bins and making me wash them because I'm like, I feel like we just have like mass amounts of clothes constantly to wash. And I'm like, it's ridiculous. I feel like I can never get ahead. So today I'm going to try to get through all that. And then, so during the week it's not so bad. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably do that and sit with my chitlins a little bit because I love being with the kids. Last week I felt bad because on the weekend when, you know, we can spend time together and all I was doing the trees, so I really didn't get to do much with the kids. But yeah, so muffins later on, and I'll be back a little bit later. <laughs>